Here I am for another DCEU update, and this comes after the aftermath of yesterday's just bombshell report that Batgirl was going to be canceled. And sure enough, it has been canceled. And Warner Brothers actually made a uh, an actual statement about this today, and I'll leave a picture of that here in the video so you guys can read this. But they are admitting that this movie was not going to be a financial success for them. The executives, well, Zaz, it's a rumor that Zaslav himself did not care for the film and thought that it would hurt the DC brand. One thing that has been very clear is that David Zaslav cares about the DC brand, and he understands how powerful it is. And I want to talk about what the repercussions are going to be because of Batgirl getting canceled. Now, first of all, this is still being talked about all over social media today. Like, it is a big deal. Now, I've had some people get mad at me saying I seemed happy that this film was being canceled and all the hard work that people put into it, and yes. But I also understand how contracts work. You have to remember, I'm a voice actor. I do have to sign NDAs. I do understand about contracts. And the people that were involved with the film, all the way from the crew members to the filmmakers to the directors, you know, everybody, and to the actors, they're still getting paid for their time. Okay, They're not losing their money. The studio was losing money, and they decided to cancel this so that they could take a tax write-off. Warner Brothers Discovery has to find about $3 billion to trim off of their budget to make their shareholders happy. This is one of those cost-saving measures. Now, by doing what they did, I was reading about this uh, this morning and last night, by doing what they're doing with this movie... It will never be able to be monetized in any way, shape, or form. So if it's ever going to see the light of day, it's going to have to be done in a fashion where they're not making money. So it can't be put on a streaming service. It can't be put into movie theaters. It would have to be on some free streaming service. And that may happen at some point someday. But we will, if this goes through, we will never see this on HBO Max, which... There are some rumors, there's a shareholder meeting this Thursday, and some people think that there is going to be an announcement about HBO Max and Discovery Plus kind of merging. Uh, we're going to see if that comes to fruition. Uh, I don't want to talk about those rumors until they actually happen, because where I'm getting some of this information, I don't trust some of these sources. Let's talk about what this is going to ha what this is going to cause for the DC Universe, though. We've got two possible roads that this could go down. The first road is that, hey, the Snyderverse is being restored. We've got Ben Affleck coming back for Aquaman 2. Michael Keaton is out. And there has been no talk about the Flash movie. And a lot of people are assuming the Flash movie is going to be canceled next. And honestly, I think it should be. It's not, a, with everything that's been talked about, nobody asked for that film. It does not, you know, kind of match up with what needs to be done. But there may be something to salvage with that film, and there's a reason why it's been pushed back past Aquaman. So that is one possible road, is that the Snyderverse is going to be restored. We're going to see Justice League 2 and 3 or something like Final Crisis. I know that Zack Snyder is working on something. He does have plans to do something. But we don't know where those talks are with Zaslav and the Warner Brothers Discovery team. The other possible road... And the road I don't hope is going to happen, but could, is that he's about to blow everything up. He could be erasing everything and starting over from, from scratch. Some people have talked about this as well. So if that does happen, uh, it's going to be a wait-and-see type of attitude. But I will tell you right now, if you don't get Henry Cavill back as Superman, and you don't get Ben Affleck back as Batman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and Ezra Miller as The Flash, which, you know, we could debate about that at some point, then there's not going to be a fan base. Uh, I really think that there was nothing wrong with the casting of Henry Cavill as Superman. And if he does blow everything up and start over from scratch, and they could kind of springboard off of the success of the Batman with with Pattinson, and, and I don't think that movie was as big a success as they say it was, especially financially. I mean, they spent a lot of money. I've never seen Warner Brothers ever advertise a film 
like they did the Batman. That stuff was freaking everywhere. So they spent a lot of money on advertising, guaranteed. So if they blow everything up, I think they're going to lose a lot of the fan base. If they decide to come out with a whole brand new Superman, a whole new Batman, a whole new Wonder Woman, and start over from scratch, I think you're really going to lose the majority of the DC fan base. I don't think I'm willing to give another shot to new people when we already have people in place that are perfectly okay for the job. It's just fix what this, you know, the studio's been meddling for too long. And you can argue that they're meddling now by dragging Batwoman down. But honestly, that is not the type of film anybody asked for or wanted. So we've either got the Snyderverse being restored or everything's going to blow back, you know, blow up entirely. And we're going to find out shortly. There are people that believe that after the release of Aquaman that we will not be seeing any more DCEU as we know it and that everything will start over from scratch. We'll see if that comes to fruition. We'll see if what, you know, this board meeting on Thursday, what comes to fruition with the apps and everything. And then I'll be able to talk about it more freely when I do have some definitive information to give everybody. But I like one path. The other path could be tolerable depending upon how they handle it. Uh, But I would have to see, you know, what they're going to do. I just don't see latching on to new people in these roles at this point when you've already got the perfect people cast in the perfect roles. Uh, You really should run with it. And, you know, one reason why I don't think that they're going to, one of the reasons I don't think they're going to blow up the Snyderverse is the fact that they did get Ben Affleck to come back and play Batman for Aquaman 2. Why would they have him do that if they're about to destroy the whole universe anyway? What point would that serve? So we'll see where this goes. We're going to get answers very shortly. I mean, at a minimum... Well, not even at a minimum. They're going to have to make some new announcements on some new movies very soon. And any of these announcements are going to affect the box office success of Shazam. It's going to Black Adam as well as Aquaman 2. So hopefully Zaslav knows what he's doing and he is treading his ground very carefully. Uh, We're going to find out where this all leads very shortly. And I will be here to cover it all. So if you're interested in all the DC news, please stick to my channel and you will be getting updated as these things happen. I do appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'm always going to be as honest and upfront as I can when I do these updates. I do appreciate the support. We'll see you guys on the next video.